Uh, welcome YouTube. If you're watching this on YouTube, you're watching what was a live uh, stream on Ustream.tv. If you'd like to join in the live chat, uh, pop over to Ustream.tv and look for Inky Obsessions and click the follow button and you should be um, uh, signed up to get my notifications when I go live. Um, just so everybody knows, I will be streaming uh, three days this weekend um, in honor of this eye stencil sale. Let me get you up there. The code, as you can see, it is HOLIDAY25. And this is a better sale than I usually um, have with eye stencils. Um, Sherry has gone over and above this time. So you can see the particulars here. You get 25% off the entire website. If you place an order of $50 or more, you'll get a free stencil, which is this one. Pretty cool. It's a three. It's a, um, well, you can't see that very well there. It's a kind of a 3D design. It's kind of cool. Kind of cool. But you'll get that if you order $50. You'll also get free shipping in the U.S. if you order $50 or more. If you order $75 or more, in addition to those things, you'll also get a $10 gift certificate that Sherry will email you that you will be eligible to use on a future purchase, not along with this offer. And during the streams, um, Sherry has given me three uh, $15 gift certificates to raffle off. So we'll do a drawing. Somebody got to remind me to do that. We'll do it maybe midway, so I hopefully don't forget. <laughs> um, and uh, those will be, uh, those gift certificates will be sent out later. Uh, I'll get your email addresses, and Sherry will um, email you directly with that information. Um, so, if you're watching on YouTube... And you want to be eligible for one of these gift certificates. I'm going to be doing nine gift certificates. Three on each of three streams. I stream tomorrow, which is Saturday. I think it's the 9th of December at 11 a.m. Eastern. And I'm going to stream Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern. And I'll give three away each of those three streams. The sale goes till Monday night, the 11th. So, who's out? Oh, Gail. Gala. Gala and Gail. How confusing. Okay, who had a baby? Somebody had a baby here. Oh, Sophia. Oh, okay. He's two and a half months old already. Okay. Hey, May hey, Joan. Okay, so uh, let me show you um, a few of the new designs. And this time, Sherry uh, gave me the opportunity to promote some of the other eye stencil designs, not just my own. Um, some of you know that I've been having some um, physical health issues with a pinched nerve in my neck. My right hand uh, and arm was pretty much like eh, useless for a month and a half. Um, so I didn't get a chance to design as many stencils as I would have liked to design for a new release. Um, so, um, to kind of offer you more de uh, designs, Sherry let me, um, sent me some of her own designs that I, um, I'm going to demo those as well today. Um, so just breezing through some of my new ones, which aren't really that many. Um, let me get a piece of black paper here. This one's a mask that's kind of the opposite of one of the designs I did similar to this. So you kind of get a reverse design on this one. Um, this is another version of Mermaid Tails. I left these open. They're all different sizes. This one is just um, kind of an abstract, um, I just called it animal. It's kind of a, what do you want to call that? What do you call that? Not abstract. Um, it'll hit me. 
Hey, Linda. Oh, it's right on the tip of my tongue. This is a different version of the grapes. This one's called Navajo Stacks. And this one's called Navajo Blanket, I think. Yeah, Navajo Blanket. And this will work where you can do layers or do a bigger piece where this will fit into the next one down and down where you can repeat the design. This one's called Shooting Stars. And this, what the hell did I call this? I hate naming these things, I'm telling you. 3D blocks. Hell, original. And it actually does kind of look three-dimensional. I don't know if you can pick that up. Yeah, yeah, it does. That's kind of cool. So anyway, those are my personal new ones. Um, and here are some of the ones that Sherry sent me. Um, have you guys have probably heard of the badass stencils that she carries on her site? I love that brand, and they have some really cool different designs. Um, here's one of them we'll play with. Um, and this is under a separate category, a um, different artist that's on iStencils.com. And here's another one. I don't think Sandra's on here, but um, with the coral and the shark and the diver with all her mermaid themes, I can see her wanting one of those. And this one is just, uh, it's called Buckshot. But it's just texture, like a little bunch, bunch of tiny little holes. And they're all, they, they're not square stencils. They all have these ragged edges, which give you opportunities for all different sorts of, you know, designs and patterns around the side. Where you can get negative and positive on the same, with the same, same stencil. This one's just a conglomeration of all different kinds of cool designs. And it, it gives you the little tabs here, that you can cut these apart if you'd rather. Um, and Cece, I got one coming up that I think you're really going to like. Actually, I ordered it because I thought you would like it. Um, I was looking for the name of this. I don't see a name, but this, oh, no, this just has a number on it, but that one's kind of cool. I love circles. I like that one. That one's kind of cool and very usable. And Cece, this is the one I thought you would like with the way you like their skyline. Check out that one. It's the positive on the top and the negative on the bottom. So you can use it either way. And there's spotlights and a helicopter, like a searchlight and the moon and uh, two different phases of the moon. I thought that one's pretty cool. And then here's some other ones that she, the badass designer calls um, hot wings. And I think most of her stencils she uses for like body art. Hey, Carrie Ann, happy birthday. Um, so um, these are little uh, kind of wing shaped with all different little designs on them. And she's got a ton of these. I just got a few of them to play with. And these little bams are little tiny ones. But they're great for, you know, if you do cards or small stuff. And oh, she just sent this one in here. It was free with the stuff that she sent me, a little Christmas design. Or winter design, I guess, with the mittens. So that's what we're going to play with. Um, and here is a better view of the um, of the freebie. That one looks. What, it really looks 3D. Um, so I wanted to before I start working with the jelly plate on these, um, I wanted to. Um, I threw some alcohol ink on a piece of Terra skin. And I want to do what Cece does with the watercolors. She uses stencils to lift up the watercolor. Um, if you don't follow Cece, Cece's creations, you should. She's also got a Patreon page. Cece, you're welcome to put your link up if you'd like. Um, but I'm going to try to lift with, um, I don't know if I need alcohol or blending solution to lift with through a stencil. I don't know. But while this is, I'm going to let that, that's still, no, that's pretty dry, actually. I did that earlier. As you can see, my color choice is on my hand. But I'm also going to do my, um, where the hell did I put it? I had it right here. Oh, here it is. I'm going to throw 
some uh, watercolor on a piece of Yupo and let that dry and then come back and lift off with that. I really like the, um, I've done that before and, oh, my arms aren't long enough. Um, here's one that I've done previously lifting off um, with one of the stencils after I've done the, my watercolors just all over the Yupo. Um, this one, I, the, the design slipped a couple times. You can see that's not really the design. It, so I kind of overlaid it and tried to make it work. Um, but they look pretty cool when you do that. I really like that look. So I'm going to just throw some on here. Nothing schmancy fancy, just to get some color down. And I'm going to set it off to the side and let it dry. And we'll get started on the other stuff. This angle looks really weird. I mean, it looks flat here, but my computer looks like it's, I don't know. Should I be seeing and hearing anything right now? Oh, yes, you should. Of course, there's a delay, and it's going to be 40 seconds after I set it by the time you hear it. <laughs> Try uh, hitting your refresh um, and see if, that, uh, see if that helps you out. Okay, let me find a brush. La brush, la brush. Cece, did you ever write um, in about your uh, issues you have with your new brushes? Has anybody else had any issues with these, the silver, uh, hello, black label brushes? That camera's still really high, isn't it? All right, I was trying to do this off camera, but you guys are going to have to hold on to your lunch. I got to drop it down another, another bit here. Maybe that's why everything looks odd to me on the angle. I forget what I was doing that I put that up so high, but I was working on something big and I had to, I had to, this is on a, my camera's on a monopod hanging from a frame, that metal frame in the ceiling that Dave put up there for me. So it's just kind of you know, like one pole, kind of like a pendulum almost. So it, it, it kind of moves <laughs> um, when I'm trying to adjust it like that. But um I don't know why I had it up that high. I can't remember what the hell I was doing. Hey, Kelly girl. There is a coupon for the stencils. I should leave one of these out somewhere. Oh, that's actually almost too low. <laughs> Holiday 25 is the offer. Is the promo code. That's good till Monday night. And here's what you get. 25% off everything. Orders $50 and over. You get... This free stencil, as well as free shipping if you're in the U.S. and orders over $75, you get um, a free $10 gift certificate that Sherry will send you for a future order. And on this stream today, I'm going to give away three different, uh, three separate $15 gift certificates to those live in chat today. And tomorrow and Sunday. I'll have, I have nine all together I can give away. So that's pretty cool, huh? Can I put one of these where it can be seen? Maybe not. I might just have to show it every once in a while. I'm telling you, I could have a 10 foot square desk and it still would not be big enough. I need a lot, of, my spreader outer. I need a lot of elbow room. I had a Prince mojo on, babe. Woo! Here's Prince. He came out of the sump pump to say hello. He's doing well since I'm feeding him the food you sent me, Gala. For those that don't know what I'm talking about, apparently I had a frog in our sump pump. Little water pool thing, you know, this summer. And he kept riveting during my uh, broadcasts. So Gala sent me food for him. And Joan actually, I think it was Joan that sent me the actual frog. Oh, yes, everybody's a comedian. <laughs> Hello, Luscious. Hey, Nisha. Needles, that's a new name. Thanks, guys, for joining. Okay, let me get some watercolor thrown down on this bad boy. And, um, oh, you know what? Let me do, let me kill two birds with one stone. I got some new little watercolors in. Sandra actually sent me this one from Rachel Beth. It 
oh hell what's it called oh, here tropical agave this one's called it's like a metallic teal um i'm gonna keep that because i remember her name and i also got a set um oh my god my brain's going this one dead on me from um happily we go um you can find her on instagram and uh she has these really cool little sets. Here's another set I didn't open to show you how the packaging is. This one was three colors, a blue, a pink, and a gray. The gray's got a little uh, metallic in there and little swatch cards with samples on them of other colors that she does. Vintage blue and Christmas green are in here. Um, I'll open these later. I only have a couple hours tonight, so I don't want to take up too much time. I'm going to do a deeper dive on these watercolors um, when I stream with watercolors. But these are really cool. This is her Woodland set. And the, th the green one is not metallic, but the other ones are. And I don't know if that's swatch. Let me take it out of there. Hello. I have no fingernails anymore. Maybe it's glued in. Um, I don't know if you can see the sheen on those. There you go. See the Enchanted Woods? That's a metallic. Fairy Crown and Plum. What is that? Plum Passion. And then there's a green one. The green one is not um, metallic, but the other three are. Um, really nice. They're nice full pans that are loaded up. They're labeled. They've got little magnets on the bottom and then these little tins that she sends. It's really packaged nicely. So if you get a chance and you want to try some new homemade watercolors and support a small time artist getting started, it's happily we go. All one word. So let me spritz these a little bit. We'll just use these to throw in here, right? And maybe a couple of those. You never know. And I'm not doing anything. You bought watercolors that weren't purple, teal, and blue. <laughs> Denise! <laughs> I was hoping nobody would point out the obvious. It's true. It is true. So this is the one from Rachel Beth, the, the Tropical Agave. And I'm just going to throw some of this down. And I'm just going to let it go where it wants to go. Really pretty color. And these, when you use these metallic watercolors, they're always much more vivid uh, once they dry. I mean, not vivid. You see the sheen more, when, is what I want to say, when they dry. So, I'm just gonna... No rhyme or reason. Let me get my little tiny pan of rose gold. <laughs> Let's throw some of this in here. Oh, I got that wet. We'll see what happens there. All right. Now let's try some of these. This is the plum. Was it plum passion maybe? Ooh, that's pretty. It's kind of a purpley brown. Oh, look at that rose gold. Invading its space there. <laughs> Dropping the, don't want to lose that pigment. I got them too wet. Hey, Kia. Hey, Leslie. Uh, the code, guys, for the sale is HOLIDAY25. 25% 25. Um, 25 off the entire iStencil site. Any brand. I'm going to actually be demoing some badass stencils in addition to mine and some of the iStencil brand design. Uh, while I'm doing this tonight and this weekend. Um, and, uh, ooh, that's yummy. That's the Enchanted Woods one. Ooh, that's pretty. Look how that rose gold takes over. Try to see that palette together there. Oh, thanks for joining, Safia.
I'm just, I haven't been able to do anything for weeks. Um, but I finally got, so those that don't know, I've had, um, degenerating discs in my neck, four of them and two of them, C6 and seven, uh, poking into my spinal cord and kind of collapsed on a nerve and, uh, put my right arm out of commission for a good while. Um, I actually ended up in the hospital for two days when my um, doctor uh, got the MRI results and then found out that um, my right hand went numb in addition to the pain that was mind-numbing pain. And um, anybody that's had nerve pain knows what I'm talking about. It's not fun. And uh, so... Um, Hmm, might have affected my brain too. It just went flat. Um, I was on uh, some heavy IV uh, pain meds while I was in the hospital, and they admitted me for the emergency room because once they started examining me and doing three MRIs and a CAT scan and all this stuff, they were concerned that my um, that it, it's it was breast cancer that spread into the plax, uh, brachial plexus nerve bundle, which thank God it was not. But it took a while to figure that out and sort it and verify that that was not the case. And then um, they sent me home on some Dilaudid, uh, which did not help the nerve pain at all. And uh, finally went to the neurosurgeon and he said, nope, the narcotics are not going to help you. You need he put me on gabapentin for a while. It took a few weeks for that to kick in. And once it did, it really helped. But my hand was still dead numb and clumsy. I dropped stuff and um, had quite the disaster <laughs> for Thanksgiving. Right as dinner's coming off, I dropped a... I was trying, somebody brought flowers and I was trying to put it in a glass vase and made the mistake of reaching up into the, our, our bar cabinet with this hand and uh, dropped a real heavy glass pitcher I was going to use as a vase. And, of course, it fell. It knocked a liquor bottle out, hit the granite, um, and also knocked over one of those tart warmers <laughs> that had a melted tart in it. So, red wax went all up against the glass backsplash in the grout, all over the granite. And it was right where I have four different power cords plugged in for the tart warmer, for Alexa, for my... Uh, essential oil diffuser and my iPhone charger. So the wax was on all those cords. Oh, son of a bitch, are you kidding me? So I said, just let it harden up. I'll get it later. Um, oh, look at that. Look what this did over here. Kind of crazy what some of these colors do. So anyway, um, it's much better. I have most of the feeling back in my, um, in my right hand now. It's still not as strong as it was and it's still it's still off a little bit but it, it's better I and it, it was really killing me like I couldn't sit here at my desk and look down at my work it would just it would just cripple my my neck up I couldn't do it and uh, so anyway that's my story that's where I've been it's much better now I don't like the looks of this um, well we're gonna we're gonna wipe most of this up anyway but I wanted to, um, I'm not going to worry about making this a masterpiece. I just want to get some colors down here so, so I have something to lift. Right. I mean, it's about the stencils. It's not about the watercolors, right? Let's see if I can pull some of this back this way. Don't want to waste a molecule of that rose gold. Okay, enough of that. All right, let me put these little pretties to the side. And I'm going to move this and let it dry. And we shall come back to this. Somebody remind me that this exists. 
It doesn't take much to get me off track. <laughs> totally forget about it. I'll go up, finish dreaming, have dinner, go to bed in the middle of the night, wake up and think, oh crap, I forgot to wipe that watercolor back. That's how things happen these days. All right, let me find a flat surface to put these to dry. Good Lord. This is usually kind of a wreck down here. Huh, I hold a record for my wreck now. It's been quite the uh, quite the year. We were just talking about that the other day. And uh, huh, when I go back and think of what all has happened this year, whew, still here. But Lord of mercy. Um, anyway, let me show this again. Keep everybody in the loop. Um, the promo code is HOLIDAY25. You get 25% off your entire order. Orders over $50, you get this free stencil, that picture right there, and free shipping in the U.S. Orders over $75, get a free $10 gift certificate in addition to that. And I'm going to do drawings. Um, but let's try lifting this off. This is Terraskin paper, which is kind of like Upo, but it's a little more... Uh, I don't know. It's not as... Like, see how this just droops? And this is Yupo. Yupo will hold its shape, right? Um, it's, it's sturdier. It's not just a heavier weight. It's that it's... Both of them are non-porous. This is actually made out of rocks, if you can believe that. But it is. It is called Terra Skin. I will show you so you don't think I'm totally off my, off my rocker. But there's Terra Skin. And where does it say... Stone paper. Burr. It's made out of rocks. Oh, it's made in Canada. But anyway, so it's similar in that it's non-porous. So like alcohol inks and watercolors will work on this as well as Yupo. Um, but... Um, looking for a stencil to use to pull that through or to um, wipe that back. I don't want one that's going to wipe too much of it back. You know what? Let's do this little mask. Or you know what? We can do the free one. Let's do this free one. That's kind of cool one anyway. So here's what the free one looks like. You can see that undulating pattern there where it looks 3D. It really does look 3D. That's not a trick in the camera. That's for real. Yeah, it's, it has been a tough year. Oh my gosh. I had... Well, that's a long story. But this year, uh, I have had four cancer recurrence scares that have all been ruled out. Two areas of nodules in my body they found they're still watching, uh, but there's no indication of live uh, active disease and there's no growth in them since they scanned them in July. So, four times oh, and so far four times, still good. That'll get your attention. Um, let me try this. I'm trying to decide alcohol or maybe I'll spray this with alcohol. Oh, hey, Jen. Thanks for the links. Um, oh, hey, Kathy. Hello, my friend. I bet she's been busy. She's got more grandkids now. Okay. Whew. All right. This is alcohol in a paper towel. I don't know if this is going to work or not. But, you know, I like to do experiments. So I figure it's probably going to work. And we're about to find out. 
and maybe not. Wow. Now, if that was on UPO, that would come right up off of there. And look, just very little came off of there. You can see a little bit of the design, but it's very faint. Wow, that's really faint. I thought it would be a lot more prominent in there. Um, I'm not worried about matching that pattern up exactly. But this time, let me switch to some... This is the, the Ranger, the uh, blending solution for the alcohol inks that make them move really well. Let's see if this makes a difference. I'll use some of that and see if this wipes up any differently. Not so much. Wow. I don't know if it's the paper. Because I would think that would peel that right back. Very interesting. That's really faint. That's an, actually a, an experiment I'm shocked at, to tell you the truth. Um, you can definitely see the design, but it is... I thought it would lift it back to white, like this does. Right? It's not white, and I, I, I could go back to white. But I left it so it had a little blur of color in the background because that's how I wanted it to be. But um, isn't that interesting? Huh. All right, let's try something else. Let's use, I think I've got one more, oops, hello. I think I've got one more piece of, um, oh no, a couple pieces of this tear skin. Let's try something else with this. And you guys have probably seen me do this, but I haven't done it for a long time. Long time. So I'm going to take um, alcohol. Right? And I'm going to spray some... Oh, hell, I ripped the... I'm not paying attention. I'm going to spray this with alcohol. And the only reason I'm spraying this with alcohol is to make it wet and agreeable to something that's going to move the alcohol inks but I'm going to lay this and it'll suck this stencil down onto the UPO paper right so it's going to be stickier to there on the paper instead of just sliding around it just causes like a suction in there and I'm going to take some of these I got these new colors this one's called amethyst the hell's the other one? Patina and Flamingo were in the package. One of the new packages that I got. I don't know if you can see that. Flamingo, Patina, and Amethyst. I need to make more of my Christmas ornaments that I did uh, with alcohol ink. Because we painted upstairs and now I'd like to get my tree a little more matchy-matchy. <laughs> so, um, which was red and gold to match the previous stuff. The paper, um, yeah, hang on. It's, uh, Terraskin is the brand name. Multimedia Block, it's called. It's got a website down here, mitscraft.com, but I bet you, you can get it on Amazon and other places. MITZ. Oh, Mitt's Art. Sorry. What the hell am I talking about? Hello. Okay. Well, you know, some days you eat the bear, some days the bear eats you. Mitt's Art. M-I-T-Z Art dot com. Somebody sent me that for a gift, actually. So now, I'm just going to take the alcohol ink, and I'm going to put little dabs in the holes. And we're, it's going to run under, and I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. But these are just different things that you can do with stencils. You don't have to use them all in the traditional way all the time. You can do different stuff to get really different. Um, maybe I should have put more alcohol on the bottom. Uh, 
it's all running underneath of there but it you will see the pattern well i think i should i shouldn't say that so confidently because clearly that didn't work the last time and it's just very random you can mix the colors it doesn't matter i'm trying to hit the holes and i keep hitting the uh probably should have used one with bigger holes for this but not that bright it's okay I can show you some that I've done this to before um, This is the patina one. Yeah, this has a lot of holes in it. This is probably not my best idea to use this one for this demo. But, yeah, all I got is time, right? Who cares? Oh my god, I just thought of something I gotta show you guys. Hey, Jan! Um, <laughs> you know, my Chelsea had her little boy, Owen. She does some of the cutest darn things with that little, little rascal. And um, he's so happy and just laughing all the time and just goes along with whatever she does to him. He doesn't care. So hang on. He might not like this when he's 14 or 15, but right now it's pretty darn cute. i show you in a minute. This is actually hard on my hand squeezing, squeezing this bottle. Um, I know, Jan, it's snowing in Alabama. My, um, my in-laws from my previous marriage live in Mississippi. And they were posting pictures of their house blanketed with snow. And the bushes just thick with snow. The lawn covered. The roofs covered. And and um, they moved from upstate New York recently. And uh, the man, it's chasing you down there. All right. That's good enough. Um, hang on. Let me show you this real quick of Owen. <laughs> I hope the glare doesn't mess it up. But look at this little booger. How stinking cute is he? <laughs> now, wait a minute. Let me show you one more. Where is it? Oh, there it is. little butt shot <laughs> god bless him and there's another one see how i lure you in with a coupon code that i make you look at my baby pictures <laughs> all right this i'm going to sit this off to the side and we'll see how this one ends up and you know what the way today the way the day's going these could all be a fail, but I do have proof that it works. I do, I do, I do. Where am I going to put it? I'll try that. Um, I had let me find one here real quick for you. Hang on. So I had one. Here we go, right here. With those pop my poppy stencil made a really cool one i have those elsewhere apparently but here's one of them this is on terra skin and this was my tribal border stencil that i did and you can see the look that you get when you do what i just did there you spray it with alcohol lay the stencil down put the alcohol ink in the holes and just let it go where it's going to go this one i thought was cool that it the colors if you guys know what raku pottery is 
this reminds me of Raku, the way the, the colors are. But that's, you can clearly see the definition of the stencil way better than trying to lift off the alcohol inks. That's so weird. I was really, that surprised me. Not much shocks me anymore, but that, I must say I was shocked. Shock, shock, shock. Okay, let's mess around with some of these on a jelly plate now. Let's just go on that goes on there. Hey, Z. You know what? Let's, before we start this, and I forget because it just popped into my mind again. Here's the, um, here's the stencil sale again, right? I'm going to let that sit right there. And while that's on, let me zoom in. So that's going to be laying on the screen for a couple of minutes. So hopefully everybody can kind of sort of see that. Um, let's do the drawings while we have a good number of people on, on here live with me. So let me get something to write with. Let me get my phone. And what we'll do is, um, oh, Xander, that's great that that's not, you got the x-ray and it was okay. Not loose. Oh, that would have been not good. Um, I'm going to go to random.org. And I have three $15 um, gift certificates that Sherry is donating to my viewers. So that they have a chance to um, to win those, and um, so what we'll do is we'll do uh, most of you guys are on Xander streams a lot, and we'll do this we'll do the drawings the way she does them. Um, we're gonna how many people we have on here right now? Let's say forty nine. Let's say we'll we'll go one to a hundred. You'll guess numbers. Uh, Oh, it's not in the space here. Okay. Er, one to 100. You still can't see it. Never mind. Well, that's easy enough to remember, right? You guys aren't as numbskulled as I am. <laughs> um, when I type in... Oh, I'll show you in just a second, uh, Zandra. Um, when I type in... Um, ready set go into the stream you guys all guess a number between 1 and 100 and then um what i'll do is i'll just run the random generator three times and we'll everybody will use that same number nope i didn't say go yet little miss smart ass nope not yet nope not working. You guys are not doing it. Not when I say ready, set, go. When I type in ready, set, go. So all those numbers, you're going to have to retype those when I type in ready, set, go. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Now yeah, you guys know why I hate doing these giveaways. I mean, it's nice to be able to do them, but Lord, it's like herding cats to get them done. Okay. So. Okay, the numbers are coming in, coming in, coming in. Everybody just do one number. And we'll do the number closest, but that doesn't go over the generator, right? Okay, everybody got their numbers in. I'll give you a few more seconds. Make sure everybody gets a shot. Oh, the ads are on. Okay. All right, we'll wait a little bit and make sure everybody gets them on, gets them in there. And these will be the numbers that we use for all three drawings. Whatever number you put in there. <laughs> Kayla can't stand the stress. <laughs> oh, Lordy. All 
All right, everybody got their numbers in? Of course, there's a 40-second lag, so by the time you guys hear that, hopefully everybody will have their numbers in. All right, everybody got them in. We're going to stop. I'm going to type in stop, and then you must stop. Okay. So now we're going to do this. Hey, Grammy. Uh, here's a number generator. Random generate number 34. So now we got to go back and see who was who was 34 or the closest to 34 without going over. Uh, Monique had 34. Right? Hang on. Got to go back through the chat and figure this out. All right. Now let me go back through again. Monique. Okay, that one was Monique. Um, and Monique, I'm going to type in my email address. Send me an email with your email address, and I'll send it to Sherry. Oh, crap. Hang on. Does that make sense? Okay, now we're going to generate another one. Everybody's going to use the same numbers, right? Twenty-six. Twenty-six. Twenty-six are the closest that didn't go over. Let's see who that is. Who's the lucky wiener? Oh, Gail, you got 26. I saw that. Hang on. Let me go back to the beginning. See if we have multiples. Gail's got 26. Tutty. Right, that one goes to Gail. 26. Let's see. Yep. Good deal. Okay, one more. Going to generate 17. Who the lucky winner? I think I saw a 17 in there. Oh, Xandra got 17. Sandra had 17. Anybody else? Yep, looks like Z got 17, right? Yay! Okay, Monique, Gail, and Sandra. Okay, each of you guys send me your email address, and I'll get that in touch with Sherry at iStencils. And she will be mailing you a, um, emailing you a fifteen dollar um, gift certificate to use on a future order. So you can't apply it to the order if you place an order today. You can't apply that, um, but it will apply to a future order. Groovy. So we'll do this again tomorrow uh, on tomorrow's stream and on Sunday's stream. I'll give away three more on each stream. Dookie dookie. So there we go. Um, move that out of the way. Let me get zoomed back out here a minute. Well. All right. Now I'm not sure, to be honest, how my hand's going to hold up with the um, jelly plating. We'll give it a try. 
Well, first I have to be strong enough to pull this plastic off of there. Oh, look at you, you dirty, dirty jelly plate. Um, and see, let me show you. Uh, here's the uh, this version of the Mermaid Tales. Oh, I want to show you something else, Sandra, too. Um, hang on. Those are all different sizes and shapes and stuff. Um, but I wanted to show you this thing. Uh, hang on. I think you like this one. So I'm also promoting some of uh, the different brands on eye stencils. The eye stencil brand and uh, the badass ones who also does the hot wings. But... Here you go. This one, I wanted Xander to see this. That's got all kind of sea coral and see around the edges where you can use negative or positive. Fish, angel fish, shark, scuba divers, fishes, schools of fish. Um, and it's called Reef Madness. And that's, you'll find those um, under the badass stencil heading um, when you get to eye stencils. Oh, yeah, Linda. Um, I, that looks like a new name. I'm not sure if you're, you stream a lot or not, but... Um, there's generally, on a good day, it's about a 30-second delay. But, um, Joy, I think yours came in after I said stop. I went back and looked at that. I did see it in there, but it was after I already said stop. So try again tomorrow or Sunday. But, um, anyway, uh, I forgot what the hell I was saying. <laughs> Yeah, and somebody else did have it before you joined, but it was it was after I said stop. That's why I just scrolled up from there. Yeah, I scroll back in the chat and look at all of them from the beginning of when they started, right after I say go, and then go up to where I see stop. But yeah, the oh, the delay we were talking about. Yeah, sometimes the delay is up to like maybe 45 seconds. So what, whatever I'm doing and you're hearing right now is not right now. It was 40 seconds ago. <laughs> so it's really, it's difficult to try to keep up. When I make a comment, when you guys say something in chat and I make a comment, you won't see my answer for another 30 to 45 seconds. It's a little tricky to do it, but I mean, that's how it works. So, um, you know what, let me show you a few of these. You guys, I'll, I'll incorporate mine in there too. But I want you to see how some of these designs print um, on these badass designs with these, uh, the designs open around the edges. It's pretty cool the way that you can, you know, use them for different things. Um, there we go. Um let me see. I gotta get some paints. Paint, paint, paint. Mama needs some paint. I only put a few out earlier because I didn't have enough room. something to get started with anyway oh you know what Joan I have jelly plated so much in my day that it doesn't it's like I'm forcing myself to do it now because I know you guys want to see these printed um, I'm not sure how my hands gonna hold up with the brayer to be honest but you know we'll give it a go um, yeah I've got stacks and stacks and stacks and reams over reams of jelly printed papers that I will never use in my lifetime. It seems as though when I get on a kick, I'm a little obsessive about it. Right now, I'm more on a watercolor kind of kick. 
But um, for you, <laughs> I'm going to try to do this. Yeah, they're really cool. Um, here, maybe you can see it a little bit better against this black. So there's only a few straight edges here. But all these give you different design opportunities here. Where you see this, you see this as the positive stencil. And then here, this you could use this as a, a negative image down here. Pretty cool. All right, let's throw a little bit of paint on the subject here. Now, I'll probably use way too much paint because I'm totally out of practice here. Doesn't make me a bad person. Oh, uh, Sandra, are you telling somebody to private message me on Twitter? Probably not the best way to go if you are, because I heart I saw one today that was months old, and um, I I'm not a Twitter girl. I tweet when I got I'm gonna go live, and other than doing Instagram and sharing it on Twitter, I don't hardly ever go into Twitter and use Twitter at all ever. Not a fan. Gotta tell you. All right, let's mix these colors up. Oh, not too god awful much paint. Okay. I'm just going to wipe it on here. Okie dokie. Oh, sorry. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I knew you knew I wasn't. Now, actually, I don't know what size this is. I'm just assuming it's all going to fit on the jelly plate. It's not all going to fit on this one. But you'll get the idea. These aren't designed specifically for the jelly plate. So, um, these are going to be a little bit off. Where mine, I try to design them so they fit that um, 8 by 10 space on the, which is like the most common, uh, I think the most widely used side of the jelly plate. And I'm going to use deli paper on most of these because I looked down here last night. And I realized I've got this much cardstock left, other than a ream of the Nina White, which I thought I would use to make cards, which I've never done. <laughs> but it's it's a little pricier, so I don't want to just use that good cardstock and then for nothing. All right, let's see what this does. This one came out kind of wrinkly. I must have too much. Do I have too much paint on there? Quite possibly. Quite possibly. Even less than I would you. Actually, I thought I was good with the paint, but not so much with these finer designs. So you can see all that negative space there, but you can um, get over there, maybe. Underneath here. You'll see all the positive space. Let's do... Oh, this is the wrong deli. I reached in the wrong bucket. In the wrong box for that one. Just cleaning off the back. Yeah, I, I knew you would like this. I think you could get a lot of use out of this one, Sandra. Um, and this isn't mine. This is one of the badass ones. Which I wish I would have thought of that name before badass did. But <laughs> she does have some badass stencils. But there you can see the positive print of that. A little scuba diver shark. All kinds of coral. And here's the other positive side. I did double pick up. Now you can see that PBO flashing in there a little bit.
but I want to do I want to do this one here for CC. CC is uh, she likes a good skyline, and I thought this one with speaker lingo. So. Um, Trying to decide how this would print the coolest because it's not all going to fit on there, right? So I'm thinking about doing black because, um, like, it's silhouetted for the um, like at night. We'll see how that, we'll just do the whole thing in black and see how that, oh. See how that turns out. Patty, what's the number of the stencil with the skyline? Uh, 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 uh. So if you guys can see that, come on, or not, it's W O B like boy A five thousand two. That's not a good way to show that. I thought some of these had names. Um, no, nope, there's no name on the packaging. It still doesn't really show it that well, does it? W O B A five O O two. It's gonna not focus for me again. There you go. Oh, I will CC. I use the blocks. I actually, when I designed that one, I was thinking about you and your buildings. <laughs> now, this one you can see there's very little black showing, right? But that is, um, I mean, you wouldn't use a stencil like this. You know, you wouldn't do a jelly print with this as one design. You would use all these different pieces. And, like, you can see these are, like, window patterns here where you could fill it in on the side of these. Um, and, you know, scattered windows here, bigger windows that you could overlay and use this parts by, you know, different parts. You would not, it doesn't make sense to use this whole stencil for a print because you're going to see how little actually is going to print. That's not what this was designed for. I'm just doing this to get some paint through the hole so you can kind of see the design a little bit better, maybe. Maybe, maybe not. So here you can, in the bottom you can kind of see a silhouetted skyline and at the top you see the buildings in white with the black sky behind it. See the difference? You dig? Um, try to pick up some of this extra black here. But yeah, these were not, um, well, obviously not designed with the jelly plate in mind. This is not, I mean, that's not a print that you would really use for anything. It's made to, um, to use the bits and pieces for, uh, you know, various different purposes. You can use these on a canvas. Yeah, it is versatile with all the parts. You see, it gives you a lot of uh, a lot of options and a lot of um, creative license to do with different bits of these. And do the helicopter with a searchlight coming down on the city, looking for the bad guys. Let's 
just cleaning it off now. Cleaning it off. Right. Now you can see some of the designs a little bit better in the skyline, the negative and the positive of the skyline. Groovy. Um, pick some more of this up. Um, let's see. Susie so wanted to see the blocks. Um, I don't have very many colors out here. I guess it doesn't really matter which colors to use. Joan has the best attitude for dealing with health issues. And then she's absolutely right. No matter how bad it gets, if you're able to sit up and take nourishment and you're on the right side of the dirt another day, you still got room to bring joy into your life and smile and try to do something for somebody else to make them happy and be grateful that you're given that opportunity. That's how I think anyway. Or you could just be a pain in the ass about it. Which isn't going to get you or anybody else around you anywhere good. <laughs> um, yes, I did just say that. I don't know. I mean, it's, you know, having pain is not a good thing. It's, it's terrible. I've been there. And so have many other people that are on chat right now and I know they get it. They get it. Ooh, that was a big booger. Lord. This one's gonna have too much paint. Let's throw a little white in here. Hey Queen. All right gonna be too much paint but that's just the way it's gonna be let's get this mushed up here get rid of some of that I don't want to over mix these but I need to get some of that off of the off the page so this is the 3d blocks per CC's request And I like to feel where, with my hands where my jelly plate is, so I know how to lay this to get it on the whole plate, just like that. Um, you know what, maybe I'll do this one in black. That's kind of light colors, so then you can see the design a little bit better. Alright, let's try that. This is black bond paper. I love this stuff. I got it on um, Amazon. Just the regular printer paper weight, whatever that is, I forget. Gosh, I haven't done this in so long. I forgot the wear and tear of my hands. <laughs> hey, yay, yay. Let's see if that's good enough image. Yeah, I smudged it a little bit. Um, there, and you can see that that does look kind of 3D-ish. It, it's the exact same image repeated and one flipped, but it looks like, you know, they kind of go like down and down, and this one is wide here and goes down this way. But they do not. But see, see, I thought about you. Um, when I saw this, thinking about your your buildings. 
CC used one of my uh, other stencils. It kind of has a design similar to this, but it's round and it was different stacks. And um, thanks, Eileen. And um, she did a really cool piece with it and made them like different buildings of like a skyline. I thought I would have never thought to do that with that stencil. I she's you guys really got to follow CC and uh, again she's got a Patreon page. Um, but um, she she puts a really cool twist on some of my well everybody's stuff. But I mean. Um, Uh, that's just sketchy, but I was just looking at the detail and some of that, how that, you get the crusty bits off the jelly plate. So this obviously is not a, a very good print. It's kind of a ghosty print, which you could just layer this, or it would be really cool just to cut out these little blocks where you see that 3D piece and maybe stack those three in a collage or something. You know, they can use the most the smallest most interesting parts of these sometimes come out the best hey Larlu let me show you guys I put it on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram the, the coupon code but I want to show everybody that's here so you don't have to search for it just cleaning that one off um, it's holiday 25 is the um, code that gets you 25% off the entire site of eye stencils. Um, orders of $50 or more, you get a free, uh, well, it's this stencil here. It's very 3D looking. A, three stencil, a free stencil and free shipping if you're in the U.S. for orders of $50 or more. If you order $75 or more, you'll get a $10 gift certificate to use against a future purchase. And I already did the three giveaways um, for tonight's stream. But when I stream tomorrow and Sunday, I have three more $15 gift certificates that Sherry gave me to um, give away to my live viewers. Um, so join us for the live streams tomorrow if you want a chance at, uh, at winning those. That was a pretty good full reverse print. It's always interesting when you pull up the plate. You never really know what you're going to get. I do like that one though. I do, I do. Where am I, where am I gonna put these? You wouldn't, you wouldn't believe what a wreck this is down here. I still have stuff uh, packed from the art weekend in July that I haven't unpacked yet. That's how cray cray it's been. I'm telling you, it's nuts. I say nuts. All right, let me show you some uh, of these other designs. Uh, and then if anybody wants to see anything special, I'll try to show you that. Oh, let me go see that watercolor if that's dried enough to lift. Yep, still got a little puddle in the middle. Maybe I gotta hit that with the heat gun. That's a lot of paint the way it's puddling up there. See the big green puddle in the middle? It would all be ready to go if it wasn't for that little booger. Let me see if I can lift some of it out of there without destroying anything. Again, I'm not too worried about it because it's gonna be when I lift that off, part of that's gonna be gone anyway. So let me uh Hit that with the heat gun. And remembering this is Yupo, I can't heat it too much or we're going to get a, a melted image. This is actually on cool. I can put my hand in it. It's not, it's not, it's cool. <laughs> it is not hot. Oh my gosh, Gail. It's been, it's been absolutely bonkers. I haven't had time. And then. When I finally had some time, I felt so bad I couldn't I couldn't do anything physically, and um, that will be good for a planner to clean up with the empty box. Oh yeah, I see what you mean, Kathy. 
Yep, to write in the empty spot on there and to use the line. I'm digging you. Wow, that rose gold is crazy shiny in there. That may almost be too much rose gold. But look how shiny this brown. This is one of the ones that's happily we go. The watercolors I, I showed you guys briefly. I'm going to come back and I'm going to give her props and, and do those. Um, a good demo on those. But you can see her, the metallics in there. If I get my lights just right and this reddish brown one that actually reminds me of um Xander, you'll know that one the uh, indian summer from creamer and then this gold more gold one next to it that's hers and this green one is hers that doesn't have metallic in it but um anyway really nice oh the rose gold please please all right let me get this out of the way now, which design am I going to use on this? Pray tell. Um, something like that. I don't know. I don't know. Um, these are um, Happily We Go. She's on Instagram. And this is the Woodland Woodlands collection. All of those are metallics in there except for the green. It's a matte color. And um, here's another little set. And that's how bad it is. I haven't even gotten these unwrapped yet. You know, that ain't right. Um, Galaxy Gray's got some shimmer in it. The other two don't, but that was a three set of those. But it's happily we go um let's see what am i going to use what am i going to use i don't want one that looks too much off of it that's why i'm steering clear from these navajo blanket ones well maybe we'll do this maybe we'll do the star for the holiday even though these aren't really holiday colors this one's called Shooting Stars. Let's see. I want to do this. I, when I do this, I try to actually think about what's going to be left behind. and what. Oh, yours is the, um, that's the other one I demoed earlier, um, Sandra. Oh, it's I moved it over there. I demoed that um, Tropical Agave that you sent me from Rachel Beth. Yeah. Now, Happily We Go. Um, oh, my God, I'm getting a block on her name. But she goes by Happily We Go on YouTube and Instagram. So when I'm doing this, I try like if I find a spot that's like really cool and I want to keep. Um, like I think I'm going to flip that over because this down here is really kind of interesting. What do I have here though? That's kind of boring. Boring. That's kind of cool looking. And then I get rose gold. And see, I'm not necessarily centered on the paper, but I don't I don't care. I mean, you don't need... Thank you, Jen. That's her. Happily we go. Um, you can't always get the bits that you want. Can't get the bits that you want. Oh, God, please don't let me sing. Oh, Lord. Please spare my viewers. <laughs> All right, I'm going to use, um, I'm going to try baby wipe. And these are kind of really kind of wet baby wipes. So I'm going to take a paper towel. I'm going to try to like squeeze some of the fluid out of the baby wipe because I don't want it to run. Learned this the hard way. Oh no, I don't want it. To, that's going to get wiped off. What the hell am I thinking? I'm doing it bass backwards. Ass backwards is what I'm doing. See, you guys, I can't trust you. You let me run amok. So you want to put this where you don't like it that much. And let the other stuff stay behind. This probably isn't the greatest one to use. Hang on. Hold the phone. 
You know what? I'll tell you what I'm going to use. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Where are you? Oh, that might be a cute one to do. Oh, Lord. Maybe this one? No, no, let's just go for it. Be her all night trying to get it uh, just right. It doesn't need to be just right for a demo. I just want to show you the technique. So this is watercolor on Yupo paper. It's dry. Throw a stencil over it. Have a damp, barely damp baby wipe. And you can see that this wipes, Yupo will wipe, wipe back to white. See how that's gone underneath of there? And just keep turning the baby wipe so you're not just smearing the other colors. You're actually lifting it with a clean part of the baby wipe. And this is thanks to CC and her brilliance. So this one I'm lifting more back just to show you how this can go back to white. Um, even with like staining colors. It's the, it's the Yupo. It's not the paint. It's the Yupo that's allowing you to do that. If this was watercolor paper, you'd get a different kind of a look. Oh, that, that slid a little bit. Anywho, now let me, I'm going to blot this because it's got a little bit of water droplets underneath of there. See where you got that little print on there? But um, you can see where that lifted off, that design. That still wasn't a great design to use on there, was it? It was not. You know what, what is a cool design? Is that one mask of mine. Oh, mask of mine, where are you? One of those. It's a combination of those two are really cool. Well, here it is right here. Right? They're kind of cool. So let's do something more on here since we got it. Oops. My hands not <laughs> see my hands aren't working that great. But see there where it looked at that and left that impression of that stencil down there. And this one is the iron gate mask. This one's kind of cool. Get a fresh baby wipe. That one's getting kind of ugly. Oh, crap, I can't get my finger to work. Dang on baby wipe out of the box. Hold on, hold the phone. I gotta open this up. <laughs> Try that. Here we go. There we go. That's better. My hand's still not working right, but at least it doesn't hurt the bad as bad. Yeah, it's Iron Gate. That's one of the ones you used, uh, CC, on that one uh, watercolor that you did that you looked it up. I thought that was really cool. I don't know. Did you have the stencil or the mask? I don't remember. You get. I mean, obviously you get a similar image, but I didn't, didn't remember what you had. So you can do different, I'm just going to do different heights of this so you can see what that looks like and see where you get little bits of water underneath there with that darker line. I just blot it off. I just blot it off. <laughs> um, you can see the design in there. You can just play with it and play with it and play with it until you... Fine combination of what you really like. And if you screw it up like I am because my hands aren't working right, um, you can wipe it all the way back to white and start over. All right? See, that would move so it almost went all white because my had a little slips of doodle there. I like this one here. You can, you can arrange it so you have these 
crosshairs like you know there or diagonal or like a V or something just to mix it up so you can think about what the design is and what it's going to wipe off and what bits it's going to leave behind right you get it you get it I get it and like this one I'm just going to go diagonal so that it you know you just see it fill in those that area that was open there so you can just keep playing with those and uh, you can get some really cool what's the name of the circles mask um, that my friend is a good question because I cut off the way the masks come it's hard to say masks plural um, it's one of mine. It's a PTP design. So if you go towards the back of my pages, it's one of my later designs. I don't remember. That's, that's bad. I should remember the name of my own stencil, shouldn't I? I don't know, but it's in there. It's towards the back. Um, but this one's really cool. I've used that in uh, several different things that I've used to wipe, wipe off like that. Um... All right, let's throw this up here. And let's go back to this for a little bit. What time is it? 6.30. Oh, thanks, CC. Um, yeah, I should know that. If it wasn't online live, I'd look it up for you and send you the link. But um, All right, let's do something like this. I want something that's open this one here because I want to this is dry now I want to pick up some of those bits outback dream uh, the outback was uh, one of the ones that was like a circle like that but it had like a star around it hang on I just saw it peeking out of here earlier like this is one of the outback designs like it's got that same circle but it's got the different um, designs around it. And there's a mask. I can see it. I see the little legs sticking out of the pile. Here's the mask. I think that one might be Outback Dream. Outback Star. I don't remember. It's Outback something now that you say that. I do remember that. <laughs> um Let, you know what? This would make a cool patina print. Do I even remember how to do my own patina prints? Oh, thanks, Gail. <laughs> bad, bad girl. I know. Easy come, easy go, right? Oh, thanks, A. Thanks for putting the link up. Um, let's do... Let me see if I can remember how I used to do my own my old patina prints I used to do. Oops, that was the tube of paint, not the artist, for the sound effects. All right, let's get some black down here. Uh, let's see, can I remember how to do this? I'm going to put this one down. We're going to use this one. This is the Navajo Stacks. This reminded me of an American Indian blankety kind of design. All right, now I'm going to lift and I'm going to try to clean off all the paint showing through the holes. And this will take me a couple lifts probably to get it mostly out of there. And I call this a patina print. If it works right, you'll get to see what I mean. <laughs> it's a big F. Oh, there's the design, but that's cool. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. I like it. Um, do another one. See where that's still coming up through there. And that wasn't a lot of paint, actually. I'm not wasting as much paint as normal. Hey, Ann. I'm going to be off around 7, Ann. Sorry about that overlap. I did. I'm so out of the loop. I didn't. I knew sometimes you streamed on Fridays. I thought I was going to be earlier than you. I didn't think it was um, 
that I was overlapping with you. I didn't realize you went on at, what's that, 4 o'clock your time? Is that when you go on? Okay, so now I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to take a piece of paper to block this. And I'm going to lift this. Ooh, that might not be enough. You know what, that's not going to be enough on there. Damn it. I'm just going to blot that off quickly. Ooh, that's cool looking. And then I'm going to take two of these PBO Dyna Colors. And uh, this one's a green yellow. They have the paints one color and the uh, shimmer in it is another color. This one's green blue. Right. And then I'm going to roll this on. I don't think this is going to work, but I'm going to do it anyway. So I'm going to roll this on. And basically this color is going to lay more in the holes that were left open than on the black. And I'm going to kind of help that along by going in here and just uh, with the weight of the brayer, I'm not pushing on it. I'm going to go over this and let it lift off that paint. See where you can see the design more obvious there and there and over here. Oh, hell, I almost dropped that one. My hand went a little wobbly. <laughs> I'm telling you I'm a danger to myself. So now I'm going to take this paper. And I'm going to lift this as one print. And sometimes, oh, good. Yeah, I, I thought you went over, and you're an hour earlier than we are here, right? So it would be 7.30 for us here. That's what I thought when I, I thought I'd go 5 to 7 and get out of the way. But, um. Anyway, the first time I did this, playing around years ago now, it came out, it looked like um, patinaed metal. Uh, and I had a really cool scroll design that I used. Um, <laughs> and uh, it looked like um, wrought iron, is what I'm trying to say. Oh, you are Eastern. Okay. I don't know why I thought you were an hour ahead of us. What the hell do I know? All right, let's see. All right. Well, it's probably too much green in there to really look like that, but you can get an idea of how that the technique works where you can lift back. Uh, some of the paint you put on so it's mostly just laying in the holes that you left from the previous print, right? That's actually kind of cool. I can see that coming into play in one of my collages. Get over there. And then I'm going to lift a little bit more of this that's wet. Not too much. I don't want to take it all. Oops, these little bits coming up. And I'm going to let that dry a second. And then I'll try to do a cleanup print and I'll do that and find something more open hmm, maybe I'll do the mermaid did I sh I did show you that didn't I see the mermaids I showed you right er um you know what I should probably show you guys oh mercy hang on I'm going to go get one of my boxes of stencils past. Where the hell are they? Oh, here we go. Back before I had my own uh, line of stencils. I was uh, quite the fan of eye stencils, and uh, I have a little collection here. I can show you some of their other designs since this sale. Oh, jeez. Can I? <laughs> I can't get the box open. Gosh darn it, man. Oh. Oh, 
Holy crap, I got a lot of stencils. Jesus. I was quite the stencil hoe at one time. So here's a box of some of the other eye stencil designs that were my favorites that I purchased years ago. Um, that are also available on this sale. And uh, they have well over 3,000 designs on the eye stencil website. So it's kind of, it's uh, when I shop there, whatever I see that I like, I, um, I put it in my cart. So I don't have to go back and find it again. And then I go back and I thin out the cart for what I can spend. Um, so I would suggest you do that because some of the uh, eye stencil ones are, they're divided into categories for what type of design it is. And um, they're not named. There are a lot of them are numbered. So I think it's kind of hard to go back and find them. But some of these are really cool. And I use the crap out of this one. Um, this is a repeatable one. Well, that's not going to show you on the... It's a, like a reptile skin. And it's repeatable where you can see this uh, the framing down here to show you how to line it up to repeat it. Um, oh my gosh. Is this going to maybe harder than I thought it was going to be because it's trying to... This, these are so used and painted up. I'm not sure we'll be able to show you the numbers right. I thought maybe I could... Oh, mercy. I'm going to have to say these numbers. Oh, this might not be a good thing to do. This might take forever and just confuse everybody watching this. We'll try a couple of them. This one is 89-00275R. I used the crap out of that one. This is a cool one. Um... Oh, geez. Does this even have a name on it? I think, here we go. This, there we get it. This is a badass. This is one I purchased years ago. You can see it's got that funky design edge all around it. This one makes really cool prints. This one's called Chaotic. That one's chaotic. It's one of the badass ones. And it is badass, let me tell you. Um, and this is one of the... Alex Hansen is one of the other designers. And this one is called Space Skin 007. Like James Bond 007. Oh, that's not a good, good way to show you that one, is it? Black on black. I These are really cool. Um, oh my gosh, Denise, that would look really good over watercolors, wouldn't it? Hello, lover. I'm going to pull that out to the side. And we'll do something with you soon. This one looks very simple. It's so cool looking when you print this. I used the crap out of this one. As you can see, it's black. I used it for a lot of pop of blacks on top of anything. It almost gives you a 3D slinky effect. It's really cool. And this one, again, it's Alex Hansen is the designer on eye stencils. And it is called Space Skin. Hello. Space Skin 007. I used the crap out of that one, too. This was a cool scroll design. Right? That's, uh, these are just numbered. You know what? I'm not even going to, I'm not going to read all these numbers because it's just going to be confusing. But this is a, is a cool swirl because most swirls uh, or scrolls are very um, clean. And this one is kind of like a grunge one. See the little bits in there that make it kind of scraggly looking? I think this is the one I did one of my first patina prints with that made it look like um, that aged metal because of how rustic and grungy these were. But you can find, you can go on eye stencils and look uh, on the left hand uh, side of the window. They have a menu, and I think one is called um, backgrounds, and there's one called um, 
is it just called designs? It's kind of vague categories, but um, if you just pop through those, and like I said, put them in your cart as you find them. This was a cool one too. The spiral. Er, get down there. What's the matter with you? And these are some of their 3D ones. Um, I just always like these. But you can find, if you just take your time and go through all those different categories, you will find some really cool stuff. Of course, it wouldn't kill you to look at the Patty Tally Pear stencils either. I'm just saying. But this one looks really cool as a pop of black. It looks 3D. You can kind of get an idea of what that would look like there. Right? It, does, it gives a 3D effect. That was a really cool pop of black. This one... That was just very tribal looking to me. It's like two dragons, kind of in a yin yang kind of pattern. That was pretty cool. I like that one too. And these, I love these. These are the 3D designs. This is my favorite, I think, is this one. Yeah. That looks like that ball pops right up off the page. Maybe I'll do a print of that before, before we go. So there's a bunch of teardrops. Who is this patty person? Me? Um, this is a different kind of 3D globe. This was an oh panel, wrong side. I try to flip it over. That one's kind of cool if you're like circles. That's a good circle one. And that's a repeatable design. That number's pretty clear on there. 27004. This kind of was kind of cool too. Kind of a swirl, but tribalish, I think because of the pointed bits the way it was designed. It's kind of my thing. And this is a badass called Splatter. This was a cool one to do as a pickup, a cleanup to have all that open space. Oh, <laughs> now I'm with you, Monique. <laughs> Oh, God. This is kind of like river rocks. And this one looks so simple, but it made some really cool cleanup prints with all that open space. Yes, it do. Some of those are like the most unlikely um, Oh. Like my stripe stencils. I don't, do you guys follow Jody Ole? Surely you must. She's awesome. I love her. She uses my stencils in some of her paintings. And if you've seen her latest series of paintings. And she's got those groups of stripes in there. She's been using my stencil. I will see CDS. That is a badass. Here's another Alec Hansen. That looks like that slinky thing again in a different version. Hang on. I will get that for you right now. Where are you? Cityscape. There you go. Um, oh, crap. Okay. W-O-B like boy A 5002. Gosh, they don't come out very good on here, do they? W-O-B-A-5-0-0-2. I guess when you're badass, you don't have to. This one made some interesting prints, too. Kind of a scrollish, florida heart 
thing. Very cool. Another like mandala. Mandala, mandala, whatever. Kind of a giraffey kind of a print. But these are just a a very small sprinkling of what you'll find available. That's just a bigger one of that 3D effect. Um, which you find available on the site. I mean, this is just a little... And this one looked concave. It looked like it sunk in in the middle. As opposed to this one, it looked like it was popping out. Isn't that cool? Kind of a starburst kind of a thing. Oh, here's some that's never been used. What is up with that? I bet that's badass. It is. Look, badass. This one's called Andrea's Flames. Cool. Now here's one I never, how do I never use these? This is a badass called Andrea's Amphibious. So it's different kinds of, oh, look, Z, mermaid scales. Mermaid scales. And I don't know what that is. It's amphibious. A net, maybe? A net, two words, not a net, like the name. But it's a badass called Andrea's Amphibious. It's a little mermaid action in there. Hang on. I got something itching my eye. Drive me crazy. So these, oh God, I was wondering where these were. <laughs> I got some of those, um, what are these called? The screens? Uh, I wondered where these were. <laughs> Well, I didn't realize I had that many of them. They were not eye stencils. Actually, I think they were, um, oh God, what's her name? Uh, Carol Sloan on Etsy. I took a class from her one time years ago. One of my first, um, <laughs> I know, right? Share the love, CC. I spread it around. Oh, that's a second. Apparently, I like that one. I have two of those. Um, what the hell was I even saying? Oh, I had it for the first Art and Soul I went to. I don't know how many years ago that was. A while ago in Virginia Beach. She was um, helped one of the instructors, I think. And she taught some of her own classes. But I followed her and she had some really cool... What are they called? Um, you know, where you take paint... Uh, with a scraper and screen printing, like screen prints. Is that what they're called? I don't know. Somebody will tell me in a minute. There are smarter people than I on the stream, on the chat, so. I know, right, Monique? I, like, I haven't been in this box for a long time. This was a really cool 3D print when you would I would do a little pop of black on stuff. You wouldn't think that would be much, but I'm telling you, those are the ones. Oh, look! I got another badass. Anybody like bees? This one's called Honey Buzz. Honey Buzz. Anybody like the um, honeycomb shapes or bees? How cute is that? Oh, look, another badass. Apparently I was into the badass stencils, which I really was. I loved them. Hey, Z, this is a pretty good one. They almost like, like mermaid tails down the bottom there. You could get a little section of that going and some waves. And different waves up here. Uh, badass. This one's called Flow. Probably can't see that. But it's called Flow. This was a good pop of black one. Alright. But I'm just, I mean, I know this isn't giving you the information you need to order. But you can get an idea of what's available out there. And you, if you take the time while you're sitting there watching TV and popping through the different, um, you know, the different uh, categories for the eye stencils brand that's down the left side of that menu. And you can also, instead of just having like, I don't know what the smallest amount is on a page, like 60, 
you can go up on the upper right and change that drop down to make it say, I don't know, 100 and 240 or something. I don't know. So then you only have, there's a lot more on one page where you can just scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll without having to click to the next page. And then this one's kind of cool. Little scrolly flower thing. Oh, jeez, almost fell off the arm of my chair. <laughs> Here's another one of those that kind of gives you that 3D look to it. Another 3D one. I was into the 3Ds. Can you tell? Did you know that? And here's another one. I think I bought all of them at one time. I found them necessary to own. There's another one that's kind of concave. That may be a duplicate. That looks kind of a lot like that other one. Oh, uh, this is cool. What was this? Oh, this is the body paint one. They're, they, these were for body painting. Um, I can't make out that signature. But this one I will give you the number four because I don't know if I have any other ones of this brand. And I don't, I think they, I'm sure I got it there. It's V A R G 0355. V A R G. Can you see that? There it is. Hopefully I got this in high stencils. <laughs> but I, I just love this one. I thought that was really cool. Run out of room. This is another one that made some cool cleanup prints. Very basic. Yet stunning. I'm going to start stacking these over here because I'm going to have an avalanche. It's another repeated design. Here's another. Oh, I do believe I have two of those. Oops. I think I do. Oh, that's cool. I forgot. Patty, before you go, please show watercolor with the tropical. Oh, okay, we'll do. That's just like a big kind of a, I don't know, swooshy, half of a tornado-ish kind of thing. And that's kind of a wavy pattern. That's a good one for using. For waves. That's 27-00053. This one kind of reminded me of a retro 1960s. Probably why I used the neon colors on it. A little retro. Oh yeah, I remember the swirly vine deal. Oh, and I like this one with the arrows. Well, clearly I liked them because I bought them, right? one's almost like Punchinella, but open. It doesn't really have the closed circles on it. Oh, more badass. Badass. This one is called Andrea's Geometrics. Cool. Oh, and here's this guy again, Alex Hansen. That's Kind of basic but again those are the ones that are really usable sometimes it's kind of a swirly party kind of a thing oh this badass one i like this one this is called um andrea's lazy paisley that's another badass design that's just one with stars that one looks a 3D star. It must have been on a star kick. And more badass. Apparently I was a fan of the badass. Oh, like a snake. Uh, this one's called Reptiliana. Reptiliana. Let me show you on the black. All right. This. 
This must be badass. It is Andrea's Bubbles. I'm guessing the artist's name, her name's Andrea. These are, these are years old. They still have them, I'm sure. It's another badass. Let's see how all of hers have the open design. This one's called Mosaic. That's cool. That's an Alec Hansen called, oh, it's called Orgasmic. Hmm, matter of opinion, I guess. <laughs> oh, here's a badass, the wood grain one. That's called Naughty, like K-N-O-T-T-Y, like Naughty Pine. Kind of a wood grain. Another badass. Oh, no, this is another Varg. What the hell is that? Jay Vargas, I guess, is the best I can make out of that signature. See a signature there? And this is another VARG 0277. Well, apparently I like this one because I had it, and Sherry just sent me another one. So, Oh, this is when I first started doing it. Sherry made me some, uh, huh, some with my name on it. Eh. All right, let's see. What do we got here? Oh, lordy. Avalanche. Oh, this one was kind of cool. I remember this one. I like that one. That's kind of that's a good pop of black. Apparently, I like this one. And another badass. That one's called Andrea's Palette. Lord, how many more do I have? That was a big splat. Kind of a, I don't know what that is. A blob. Here's another Alex Hansen. Another badass. Andrea's Cracks and Jags. So that was kind of a texture kind of thing. Here's another badass. Drips and Splats, this one's called. I like that one. I played with that one a bit. Ay, ay, ay. That was quite the good customer. <laughs> Andrea's Gears. That's a good one for you sting steampunk gals out there. That's another one of the Varg designs. Dude, that's a cool one. I do like saying badass. And it's like I can legally say it. Because it's a brand. Does this box ever end? I don't think it does. Oops. Kind of a floppy design, but that's kind of cool. Another badass stencil right there. That one's called Optic. Optique. Oh, this was cool. I remember this one. The fans. More, more gears. Well, it's white on white. That's not showing you too much, is it? And this is the dream. I guess that's Chinese writing. Well, a couple of these look familiar that I just recently got. That's 
kind of that 3D wiggling kind of pattern. And one of those. Oh, I like this one. Oh, Lord. Mama get tired. That's a 3D design, but it was um, kind of like a partial design. It always kind of reminded me of it, like a spaceship. Here's another one of those big, wide open designs that um, made a really cool cleanup clean up sheets. What is that art called? The, the, um, it's all black and white and like you do it cutting out uh, paper and then the opposites of the patterns you lay. What is it? I even took a class with uh, Michelle Ward years ago with that. What the hell is that called? But that's what that reminds me of. Oh look, I'm getting to the bottom. Oh yeah, yeah. I see. I do see some repeats in my box now that I really go through it. Lord of mercy. Okay. All right. Um. Let me get this. Put in there. All right, kids. Um, so one more time, let me put this here and show you guys what the code is. And it's it's all over social media um, on my channel so that everybody can find it. The sale is good until Monday night, Eastern at midnight. Right? Whoa, baby, where are we? Burp. There we go. Orders of $50 gets um, this free stencil plus free shipping in the U.S. $75 orders uh, receive those as well as a $10 gift certificate that you can use on future purchases. Um, and then... Um, I'm doing three more drawings tomorrow and Sunday for additional $15 gift certificates. Oh, I got to show you the alcohol ink thing we did. And, oh, you know what, Sandra, the, the watercolor thing, that was in the one that I lifted up. <laughs> that was in this one, which there's not much left at this point. You can see a little bit of it, though, up in this corner. Oh, hello, I'm really zoomed in. You can see the remnants of what's left there. This was that color, which isn't showing you too much, but it's it's really cool. It's got like a green tealish shimmer in this. Uh, there you go. See a little bit of that shimmer? That's not a very good uh, demonstration because I ended up lifting most of that off to show you that technique. But it's a really pretty color, and it will be showing up again, I can tell you that. So here, let's get rid of that. See how much more obvious? Oh, let me let me unzoom. Hang on. So here's the alcohol ink on the, um, through the free stencil. See that undulating kind of 3D pattern there? And um, where I took the Terra Skin, you can do it on Upo Paper too. Oh, look at the Terra Skin. It goes through. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't realize that. Does stuff doesn't go through the UPO. That's just smears on it that I wiped it through. That wasn't seeping through the image, but that's kind of wild. But um, you can see that's a lot more obvious. Where the hell's that other piece of paper that I did? Huh. Oh, there it is. Hang on. So here's the first thing I did as I put um, <laughs> get lucky knucklehead. Will you call me a badass though? I might send them to you. Just saying. Um, so here's the first demo that I tried. I, I put alcohol ink and blending solution all over this piece of Terra skin paper, which is made from rocks. It's non-porous. It's similar to Yupo paper. And then I went back with alcohol on one side and blending solution on the other side through the same stencil. 
and tried to lift it off and it didn't come up. You can see a faint design there, right? But not much. This, what I did was I took another piece of tear skin paper. I spritzed it with alcohol. Then I let that alcohol use, act like a, not a glue, but to draw a suction on the stencil to hold the stencil down against it. So not a whole lot, not everything seeped underneath of it. And then I just took the alcohol inks and I dripped them just randomly through the holes. Um, and you can see where this like watercolored frame is, all this uh, in between this design. That's all where the alcohol ink just ran into the alcohol that was puddled underneath the stencil. But you leave it on there till it dries and then you lift it up and you've got a very uh, clean image of the stencil. So at least one of the demos work properly <laughs> tonight. But see the difference? Not so good. Lovely. But um, yeah, that's pretty cool. And this does look really like watercolor underneath of there. But I love that design. That It really looks like it's undulating. I like to say undulating too. I'm a badass undulating mama. <laughs> Gala knucklehead. So anyway, um, there we go. I'm going to go have some din din. Made some white bean chicken chili. And I can hear, I can smell my, can't smell my husband. I can smell my husband heating it up upstairs. <laughs> Should be very clear about what I'm saying there. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for hanging with me. I will be playing around tomorrow. Um, going to come on at 11 a.m. Eastern and go for an hour or two. Um, and just try to promote the sale while, while the coupon code is good. So don't feel like you have to order tonight because she's going to go out of stock because that's not how it works. She doesn't have any inventory. She cuts the stencils to order. So when you go in and you order, you know, the mermaids and the Navajo blanket and the iron gate, whatever, she will cut those and package them for you. So she's not going to run out of stock. If you think you're going to like, oh my God, I won't get that if, she does, if I don't order tonight. So you can watch different things that we do with different ones over the weekend if you're going to be here every day. And, uh, you know, you can make up your mind and uh, think about it a little bit longer. But trust me, do what I, what I mentioned about um, throwing stuff in your cart and then sorting it out later. You will pull much less of your hair out that way. Um, anyway, all right, I'm going to go have some chili. And I will see you guys on the flip side. Oh, uh, bye YouTube. Now I gotta go save my video and stop recording. So hang on, guys. Stop recording.